My grandmother was the kindest person I ever knew. Was willing to share with anybody. She would never say anything derogatory about anybody. She wrote some songs that we'd, she'd sing every morning as I got up and open the doors and windows and she'd just sing songs. And, uh, she, but she wasn't one to be in the spotlight. She was very Hawaiian. She would like to stay in the background. She got a lot of awards and accolades, but I think she just wanted to do her work. Laakea Suganuma was given to his grandmother, Mary Kavena Pukui, who was named a living treasure of Hawaii. I don't think I realized the extent of what she did until I was an adult. She raised him from the time he was two months old, giving Laakea a deep respect for the Hawaiian culture she dedicated her life to preserving. Through his grandmother's influence, Laakea showed an interest in his heritage, which led him to seek out the Hawaiian cultural practices that interested him as a young boy. Weapons and the pursuit of an ancient fighting art called Lua. Lua is a uh, fighting art. It's actually a bone-breaking art. It's not a tournament sport, but it's an ancient art. You know, warfare was a favorite pastime of the elite, believe it or not, they, they, they love fighting. And so uh, all of the chiefs were trained and a lot of the leaders and, and special people were trained in this art. And it's handed down in families and kept quiet, but it's just part of the culture. His grandmother left some of her original written works with Laakea, who has now founded the Mary Kavena Pukui Cultural Preservation Society. And again, our purpose is to be a a uh, unique uh, educational resource. Uh, we want to address uh, different aspects of the culture. Number one, I see a, a real lack of uh, cultural understanding. And I know she dedicated her life to preservation of the culture. So there are a lot of people nowadays who don't uh, really know the culture and there's a lot of people making up things. And, and so that kind of uh, prompted me to say, you know, we ought to do something about this. His drive to educate and preserve his grandmother's legacy has cast him in her footsteps as a true living Hawaiian treasure. This is Melanie Diaz from Hawaiian Mission Academy for Hiki No.